pointed at me. I got it. Are you interviewing yeah. my cup of coffee? Yeah. Yeah. What kind yeah. of remark so, is right, that? Wh wh I've established that we're in Delhi. How did you enjoy the flight? Um, I enjoyed the flight. I wasn't overly lustful. I mean, I thought, you know, mostly my flights these days are on American Airlines, particularly Continental, which are staffed with old hags, old bags and old hags, and that's just for men. And um, so you come on to a, an Eastern Airline and you're reminded of how much nicer it is to be able to select your staff by virtue of their sexy good looks. And this that includes the men. There aren't any men. They don't allow they men to be air hosts. You didn't even the see the men. Airlines. You didn't see the men. They weren't serving <laughs> beer and coffee. They, they don't they go did. down on their knees and pour a frothy, frothy bottle of beer. You just have no eyes for men. That's what it is. They were there. Oh, but you do. Yeah. I thought you said you'd lost your... Well, it's just the aesthetic pleasure of seeing a beautiful man. You make this up. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> so, you know, they were quite nice. They're not sort of Singapore Airlines standard or anything like that, but they're more competitive than Continental in that respect. Everything was better about it the American Airlines. Everything. The check-in was superb. They were very helpful. The food was good. Asian veg, okra, with little um, coloured particles and stuff, I don't know what it is. As I always do, I um, salted my meal with sugar, which was very tasty, okra and sugar, I really? recommend it. Yeah. Um, the only bad thing about it all was the coffee, which was crap. And uh, I slept well, the seats were spacious, the design was excellent, the design of the lighting. Um, it's really first class. Came to probably about 65% full. Which helped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, seven and a half hour flight, left more or less on time, arrived exactly on time. Delhi airport, very nice, spacious. I don't know, it's all good, so it's a good experience. Yeah. And um, Delhi is kind of like, I remember it, from the first time I came. I've been to Delhi now five times, but just coming to Delhi airport on the way to Kathmandu in 1984, it was all, although that was March, it was all misty like this, and it's probably very hot outside, I don't know. If we're comfortably air conditioned. So the flight was good. I would fly Jet Airways again. You know, they probably compare themselves to you know good Far Eastern airline. Yeah. I'm comparing them to an American airline. We're sending the film to them actually. Yeah, they're probably less impressed with themselves than I am. <laughs> but it, it all worked. It was all efficient. It was all stress free. Okay, okay. I think uh, we've established that this was a good. Flight. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Uh, thoughts on the coming day? Um, I'm very glad that you're the leader. I didn't actually <laughs> plan this. You know, Gombu said, okay, who's the leader? Knowing that I'm the rich one and you're the, you're the nobody. But the, um, um, I said, uh, I remember now, I said, uh, Gary's, and this wasn't as subtle as I now realise it was, because the leader has to uh, probably go to all the government ministries to pay oh, back yeah. sheets oh, and that, yeah. fill in lots of forms in. Yeah. Sex to my scene. And um, so I didn't actually think that through, but it's gonna, I'm thinking about it now. It's very good. So I said in my reply to Gombu, um, Gary was older, rather ugly, and a few other things. And so you he said, should, I, so I'll he be should the be the one leader. sitting at base camp doing the crossword. Oh, that's right, he'll be in a deck chair doing the crossword. How prescient that was about crossword. Yeah. Because that's what Gary bought the Times book of cryptic crosswords. And I don't think he's done a single letter. He hasn't even got a single cryptic letter yet. And he's just been on a long aircraft flight. But, okay. um, so, how am I looking forward to today? I'm looking forward to resting back in my courtyard in the uh, Kathmandu Guest Hotel, Wi-Fi on my knee, um, while Gary is traipsing around government offices leaving thousand dollar deposits. <laughs> like Wi-Fi on my knee. <laughs> Wi-Fi on my knee. <laughs> Okay, I don't know about this. My, my cat man, we're using up all our gigabytes. Oh, don't worry about the gigabytes.